Science 4, Quarter 3, Week 3 to Week 4, Milk Base. Let's learn about Electromagnetic Force. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Science 4, we will discuss about electromagnetic force. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Identify the objects that are attracted to magnet and describe the force exerted by magnets. In the previous lesson, you have learned about force and its effect on the size, shape, and movement of an object. Force is a push or pull of an object. When force is applied to an object, it can change its size and shape. It also causes an object to move and stop an object in motion. This time, you will learn about force exerted by magnets. Magnetism is a force all around us. We cannot see it but the way it behaves and acts can be seen. Magnets exert a force of attraction on anything made of iron, nickel, and cobalt. Magnets can attract materials but not all materials are attracted to magnet. Materials made of metals are attracted to magnet. They may be made of iron, nickel, and cobalt. Examples of objects that are made of metal that are attracted to magnets are wrench, pushpin, keys, paper clip, nails, coin, and other materials made of metal. Materials which are non-metals are not attracted by magnets. This may be made of rubber, wood, or plastic. Examples of objects that are not attracted to magnets are Pencil. This is made of wood. Plastic bottles. These are made of plastic. Rubber band. These are made of rubber. Glass. This is made of glass. And paper. Magnets have invisible magnetic field which attracts objects made of iron and nickel. It exerts a non-contact force which is a type of force that acts at a distance even without physically touching the object. There are several types of magnets and magnets polarity. Magnets can be ring magnets, rectangular magnets, horseshoe magnets, and bar magnets. One end of a bar magnet is called the North Pole and the opposite end is called the South Pole. This is the reason why magnets are called dipoles, meaning they have two opposite ends or poles. When two magnets of the same poles are placed close to each other, they repel or push each other. South to South Poles They repel or push each other. North to North Poles they also repel or push each other. When two magnets of opposite poles are placed close to each other, they attract or pull each other. For example, South Pole and North Pole are attract or pull each other. Magnetic field is the area around a magnet where the magnetic force creates a magnetic effect. It is stronger at the poles of the magnet. Magnetic force is weaker at the middle part of a magnet. 
The magnetic field is shown by how the iron filings arrange themselves around a magnet. And now, let us proceed to our activity for today, Learning Task 1. Complete the paragraph below to describe the kind of force exerted by a magnet. Choose from the box. The words are Metallic Repel Poles Different Same Let us read the paragraph and write the missing words on the blank. When the Poles of the two magnets are put near each other, they have a force that will either pull them together or push them apart. If the poles are different, then they will pull together or attract each other. If the poles are the same, then they will push apart or repel each other. The push and pull of a magnet is called magnetism. Magnets showing the north and south poles attracting metallic objects. For learning task 2, write C if the statement is correct and I if the statement is incorrect. Number 1. Silver and gold rings attract to magnets. Is it correct or incorrect? Very good! The answer is... I. Incorrect. Number 2. Iron, cobalt, and nickel are materials attracted to magnets. Is it correct or incorrect? Very good! The answer is... C. Correct. Number 3. All objects that are made up of iron are attracted to magnets. Is it correct or incorrect? Very good! The answer is C. Correct! Number 4. Two unlike poles of a magnet when put near each other pull apart. Is it correct or incorrect? Very good! The answer is I. Incorrect! And number 5. When the north pole of a magnet is placed near the north pole of another magnet, Electromagnetic force tends to pull each other together. Is it correct or incorrect? Very good! The answer is... I. Incorrect. And for learning task 3, read each item carefully. Choose the letter of your answer. Number 1. When the same poles of two magnets, whether north or south, are placed close to each other, they blank. A. Will push each other. B. Will pull each other. C. Will not attract each other. D. Will not move. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is... Letter A. Will push each other. Number 2. If you break a magnet into pieces, what will happen to the force that will be exerted by the magnet when in use? A. Force remain the same. B. Force exerted will decrease. C. Force will be doubled. D. Force of each magnet will not be affected. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is... Letter B. Force exerted will decrease. Number 3. The following materials are attracted to magnet except A. Iron nail B. Thumbtacks C. Coins D. Eraser What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter D. Eraser Number 4. When two magnets are placed near each other, with different poles, they will A. Repel B. Attract C. Stop D. Break What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is 
Letter B, attract. And number 5, the act of pushing and pulling of a magnet is called A, force, B, magnetism, C, gravity, D, friction. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B, magnetism. Remember, magnetism is a force all around us. We cannot see it, but the way it behaves and acts can be seen. Magnets can attract materials, but not all materials are attracted to magnet. They are attracted to the three types of metals. These metals are made of nickel, iron, and cobalt. There are several types of magnets like ring magnets, rectangular magnets, and bar magnets. So kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching! Thank you.